Hey everybody, sorry for the late video, we've been having technical difficulties and uh, issues with uh, my phone not having the updated roster and everything, but let's get into it as we preview the Royals versus Wheeling Nailers, two even matchups, the 10th place team, uh, the Wheeling Nailers against the 2nd place Reading Royals in the league, that's by the league standing, who have a very, very important people uh, to pay attention to, like the Cam Hosingers of the world, the Patrick Waltlings of the world. Uh, Sean Jostling, who's having a good season, uh, would be Jared Cockrell, would be somebody I would pay attention to in their forward core on defense. You got to pay attention to Matt, Matt Miller, excuse me, I almost called him Mac Miller, Adam Smith, uh, Jesse Lees, obviously Drake is on there now, former defenseman David Drake, and then in terms of net, uh, Stefanos Lakis is the guy that has experience with them, where Brody Clays, if I'm not mistaken, um, he's only played in six games, and then also has played in a couple games uh, with Wooster this year. So those would be the people I would look for for them, for us. Obviously, if Braden Lowe's back, if Cam Strong's back, that's huge for Reading. But the big key to winning is continuing to play to your strengths. They need to have much better goaltending, and they need to play to how they beat Newfoundland and how when they beat Trois Rivière, they beat Trois Rivière, which is being able to jam them at their blue line and even better at the neutral zone or even getting out of the, their own defensive zone, which is when we've seen this team the most effective, whether it's against Norfolk, whether it's against Trois Rivière, whether it's against Newfoundland, or anybody for that matter that's helped us get into second place in the league standings and first in the division and first in the conference. So it's about continuing to just go back to that. It's one bump in the road. You're always going to hit bumps on the road. I said that after the game against Trois Rivières this week. Always get hit bumps on the roads in a great season. Toledo, who's even a good bit ahead, everybody in first, has hit some bumps in the road, like losing their outdoor games, for example, um, where... Uh, no matter how good of a team you are, you're going to hit bumps in the road. Wheeling did that. They have a worse loss this month. Their only loss of February is against the Heartlanders, where at least the Royals is against a very competitive Trois Rivière team. So, to wrap up this video, play very good tight in the neutral zone. Jam. Jam them and be able to use that to then get back on the attack. And that's how the Royals have won games. And then if if they have Braden Lowe and Cam Strong back, even better. And then they're going to need a little bit more out of the goaltending uh, compared to what they had last Saturday as well. For sure, which that was kind of a struggle bunny game in that one. But everybody have a great saving pleasure day. There's been a preview to the Wheeling Nail. And our Reading Royals as the Royals look to get back in the win column. Peace out, everybody.